You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the March 21st, 2024 meeting of the Michigan City Commission for Women. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Screen. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to Michigan City Commission for Women. Um, today, we are conducting our uh, meeting, our agenda for March 21st, 2024 at 530, eight, uh, 530 p.m. I was going to say a.m. <laughs> so I did hand out the agenda, ladies. Everyone? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, first thing um, on the agenda is call to order, which I just did, and roll call is next. Uh, Lori, can you conduct the roll call? I can. Thank you. So, Jacqueline Jones is here. Linda Conley. Lori Wink is here. Charlotte Say. Me. Here. Angela Carter. Here. Keisha Ward. Here. Kiana Edwards. Yes, no. And Sarah Jones is here. Yeah. And Nyla. Present. Okay. And for the record, everyone, um, Linda wanted me to let you all know that she wasn't able to attend today um, due to another event that she had to attend. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So can we read the minutes? Um, the next is the approval for the minutes. And if the minutes can be read. You oh, read you want me to read the minutes? Sure. Thank you, Lori. Okay, this is the minutes of Thursday, February 15th. We met here. Called to order, President Christina Isbell called the meeting to order at 5.30 p.m. Attendance, Christina Isbell, Linda Connolly, Lori Wink, Sarah Jones, Faye Moore, Jackie Jones, Kiana Edwards, Keisha Ward, Angela Carter, and Nyla Williams. Introduction of new commissioners, Jackie Jones and Nyla Williams, mayoral appointees. Keisha Ward, Minority Health Partners appointee, Kiana Edwards, NAACP, Angela Carter. I have Michigan City Council, and mayor. you're saying mayor, so I think we have a little discrepancy there. Um, you are the mayor appointment. Yes. Okay. Commission appointee, the commission appointee, Charlene Lipsay, was voted in as the new commission appointee and treasurer. Overview of the Commission. Outgoing President Christina Isbell gave members an overview of the Commission ordinance, previous Commission events, promotional brochures, fundraising activities, and grants awarded by the Commission. Election of 2024 officers, Jackie Jones, President, Linda Connolly, Vice President, Lori Wink, Secretary, Charlene Lipsay, Treasurer. Minutes for December 23rd, I mean 2020, 2023 approved. Treasurer's report, in absence of the treasurer, Christina reported a balance of $15,103. May 8th, International Women's Day, Lori handed out flyers for the Inspire Inclusion through Entrepreneurship and Empowerment. Linda, Lori, Faye, and Christina are on the subcommittee planning the event. Linda suggested adding a reservation deadline of March 1st to the flyer to discourage walk-ins. Sarah will create the event program and handle the icebreaker. Jackie will be the MC and Lori will moderate the panel discussion. Faye will coordinate the goodie bags. Commissioners will begin event setup at 9 a.m. Sarah, Nyla, and Keisha volunteer to invite participation by AK Smith Center, Career Center, Sandcastle Shelter, and Stepping Stones. City Council liaison comments. Daisy Lee has been selected. Commissioners comments. Linda encouraged commissioners to attend the 2024 Power Breakfast, hosted by the Economic Development Corporation, Michigan City, from 7.30 to 10 a.m. Wednesday, March 27th, at Uptown Art Center. The panel discussion will feature real estate and construction news and the latest on the 11th Street Station renovations. Meeting adjourned at 6.30. Next meeting date, March 21st, 2024, at 5.30. Thank you, Lori. I have one um, correction. You've got Charlene's name with a C and an S in right. it's S. 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 It's S, yeah. <coughs> and then also, I guess we need to change S. S. Uh, the appointment of Angie, Angela. Yes. Mayoral appointment. Okay. No? 
I'll change that on the roster here too. That's the correct spell? Yes. Okay, thank you. Any other corrections? I see two, the two that you both mentioned. Any other corrections? Okay, can we have a uh, motion to vote the amendments? I uh, make a motion to approve the February minutes. Yes. A second. Okay, so we have a second uh, motion by Char uh, Char Charlene, mm -hmm. and we also have the second by Nyla. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No? Okay. And I will amend it and then send it to the City Hall folk. There's a whole list of people that it goes to. So. All right. Thank you, Lori. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now we will have the Treasurer's Report. All right. So <coughs> the Treasurer's Report, I passed it out to everyone. Um, we started with a balance of um, the last report I think you had was in January, official report you had was January, mm -hmm. with a balance of 15103 yeah. uh, I met with uh, Bonnie on Monday just to um, get all the treasury, all the treasurer papers and stuff back, and she had advised that there had been no disbursements you know, for this year. Uh, I have requested from uh, our controller's office a uh, quarterly general ledger, which I should have in the next couple of days. And then uh, no income coming in, so it leaves our balance with uh, 15103 Now I have a typo. If you'll notice, I added four cents to uh, the balance today, which is incorrect. It should be a zero. And that's the treasurer's report. Okay. I move that we accept the treasurer's report. Do we have a second or someone can second? I'll second. Do a second. I'll second. Aye. Okay. Okay, and Angela is uh, seconding the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. Thank you for the treasurer's report. Next on the agenda is the training for Michigan City uh, Commission for Women. Um, I was uh, informed that we may be, uh, there, there may be a possible training for us or for all the commissioners, but I haven't confirmed that yet. So maybe we can put that under the unfinished business for the next meeting. Um, I am planning on meeting with Mayor Angie um, to, to discuss that to see if it's going to be one provided for the commissioners. And um, I will uh, try to obtain that date for you all and the time and the place, okay? All right, so we'll have to come back with that next um, at the next meeting. Or if it's, prior to, if it's a date given prior to our meeting, I'll make certain that I email everyone and that they'll have received that information, okay? All right, so I was asked um, about copies maybe for Robert Rules of Order. A couple had saw that I had a book. Um, I have a couple of copies or some copies that I can share with everyone. It's not like the whole book for Robert Rules of Order, but it's maybe some um, terminology or something that can be used or whatnot if motions need to occur or whatnot. You're welcome to some of the examples and then um, the Robert Rules of Orders that I have is basically um, dated 2020, uh, 2012 so it's not really updated you know and my understanding the Robert Rules of Order has been updated so right now I just provided uh, just some terminology here okay and you all are welcome to it. I know a lot of you all are on boards as it is. So just let you have that. And then I also the Commission for Women Ordinance. Do you all have these or a copy of them? I can share. I made copies and I would love to share these with you all as well. Is that what's online? Yes. Okay. I, sometimes some will, may want hard copies. Yeah, so. 
<laughs> and then also I will also check and do some research into um, some other available trainings that may be offered, okay? And if you all have any requests or interest in anything pertaining to training, please let me know and I can forward that information, okay? All right. Um, Unfinished. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, Jackie. Yes. Uh, what did you What did you just say about available training? I missed that. For available training, I was stating that I would do some researching. Okay. If um, there's any trainings that's offered that would benefit us, and also if you all have any um, trainings in mind or something that come across that you may be interested in, you know, um, I can forward that information and see what we could what could happen for us. Okay. Okay. All right. Unfinished Business, March 8th, International Women's Day. Inspiring in Inclusion Wrap Up. So that was awesome. That was amazing. And um, Lori and Linda, Christina, Faye, and Miss Albertina, I believe, am I, um, and Sarah, I'm sorry. Sarah, <laughs> they were the subcommittee. That was the subcommittee that hosted, actually organized and did all of the planning before the new commissioners came on board. And Lori and Sarah and um, who else did I say? Linda, Faye, Miss Faye, and Miss Albertine, and Christina. Was, I want to. Um, Albertine wasn't really on the committee, but. Okay. Um, they were partners, though, right? Partnership? Minority with the minority. Yeah, it was the minority health. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, but I just wanted to acknowledge you all um, for all the hard work that you all uh, accomplished, um, the dedication, the commitment. I mean, you really you really did an outstanding uh, job. It was, it was very nice. Um, I had a lot of feedback, um, positive feedback. I didn't have anything negative. Um, that the feedback, if it was like a concern, it's not like it can't, you know, be worked out for next year. It was like minor, minor things. Mm -hmm. um, it was my understanding the sign-up sheet was 123 attendees, attendees, but um, every lunch, it was 150 lunches provided. So um, every lunch was taken. Uh, my understanding, they ran out of food, so everyone didn't receive a lunch. But again, it can be some revisions for next year, um, and that's good. You know, whatever we see, you know, saw that happen, this previous one, you know, move forward and try to do a little bit, you know, better changes or whatnot. But I mean, it was very nice. Um, a lot of feedback regarding the uh, amount of individuals that was there. Yes, it was crowded, but um, they were like, it was a nice outcome, a nice amount of uh, people. Um, I am glad that Mayor Angie was there and she also recognized that we will need a larger space for next year. Um, so we do know that that will be an event that will be on the calendar to continue for next year. Um, we have a couple that are already committed to the subcommittee. I know uh, Linda Codley is one that she will sit on that um, that one and also Angela Carter um, will be sitting on that one and then we will need three other other ones to um, also sit on that subcommittee but um, does anyone else have any feedback um, regarding the international women's oh um, yeah I'm sorry I, go ahead I was gonna say and thank you Daisy Daisy brought a lot of youth I mean, a lot of youth, and that's what's needed, especially for this generation. We want to include the youth, and thank you, Daisy. I think, how many did you have, 10? 10, 10, yeah. 10. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. And room for many more mm -hmm. next year. It was hard to choose only 10. I only, it got to the point where I was like, all right, 
the eighth graders, I, I'm only going to take seventh graders, cause, you know, um, but they had a wonderful time and it, it is, it's great exposure for them. Mm -hmm. um, the women there were so generous and kind and going up to the girls and talking to them and introducing themselves mm -hmm. and the girls were open to conversation. Um, I think they learned a lot from it and to meet people with professional women in the community who are doing great things, it's inspirational for them so they can see that great things are happening in our city and it's not just outside. Yes. So hopefully we can, you know, keep some of those girls back here and get them involved more in the city. Thank you for letting me bring some of them. I'm happy to always great. bring kids with me wherever. Yeah. So Thank if you. there's Thank an event you. and there's an option to bring students, I will I'll always bring them. And you know, I observed uh maybe a couple um gave feedback at the end when it was the Q and A. A couple had given um, responses and even asked questions for the uh, panelists. So, yeah, and that was great to see. That was so. Thank you so much. And next year, let's look into increasing the number from ten to maybe uh, increasing that number from ten. We'll go from there. Yeah. Sorry about that. Thought it was all. <clears throat> Any other comments or feedback regarding the International Women's Day? Mm. Anything that you all would like to see different or? Yes. Nyla, would you, would you like to? Well, I was at the front desk, so I was doing the, um, the registration. Um, I just think, you know, for next year, we probably can look at how we can do that a little bit differently um, because it, the line was getting kind of um, congested in that space. There were a lot of people who came that were not on the list. So hence, it's probably why the lunches were, you know, um, you know, short there. But um, I think we need to really stress that you know, if you were supposed to RSVP, then you, we need to stick to that. And unfortunately, some people are always going to show up. Then yep. what are we going to do when I that know. happens? We need to tell I'm tough, sorry, you know, no, right? we have to stick with that um, because you just have all these walk-ins. And of course, we'll leave those openings for, you know, um, city council folks and, um, you know, in the public sector. So you know, leave that open for them, but as far as just other people saying, well, I'm here with this person, or but you're not on here, and I found that to be, it was quite a few. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe how we have it um, uh, printed out next time. Um, there were a lot of duplicates and things like that, but that's something that we could definitely work on. Um, make it bigger for us to see, because the writing was so small. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a role in itself because yeah. Christina was the one that handled MailChimp and also kept us abreast of how many had been registered. So that should be a role within the subcommittee because yes. she handled a lot of that. So. Yeah. So, did you, so we could definitely work on that. We, that's it. Um, I don't know if we have considered <clears throat> Eventbrite or some other form of <clears throat> registration uh, way to RSVP or registration that would generate um, a report for us and help us track better. Yeah, I don't know. Gala, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't. Gala. I don't think we used uh, Eventbrite at the gala. That was the first time we used Mailchimp. But um, if we're looking at, uh, of course, this as an annual event, and then the Women's Equity Day. Mm -hmm. we, we probably should explore what it would, if there's any cost or what it would take to be able to register via. And we could even do like, you can, if you RSVP, then like it, when they sign in, if you have RSVP doing like a, a ticket to redeem the lunch, that way mm -hmm. those who yeah. didn't RSVP mm -hmm. can still participate in the material that's provided. Mm -hmm. But may not right. necessarily get that. That's what I was going to ask. That if you don't RSVP, maybe that could just be a part of the registration. You won't. You won't be. Lunch won't be provided mm -hmm. without an RSVP. Yeah. So then you'll have 
we definitely would need to have a larger space. Yes, because yeah. then you'll have, you know, <laughs> yeah. that overflow of people just wanting to come or just showing up. So, yeah, for next year, I'm sorry, Memorial Park, but um, right. and, you, uh, we've outgrown that space. <laughs> right, and we will. We will have a um, larger yeah. venue yeah. for next year. We'll have a larger so venue. Great. Um, and the subcommittee, the ones that's going to be working on mm -hmm. that one, you know, uh, those changes can be discussed within the subcommittee. Um, so again, what what I um, experienced, it was like a odd moment. It was really nice. Yes, um, it was. The panelists, the discussions. Um, so everything was good. The food was good. Um, even with the food, we were going to have plenty of other events as well. Um, she did a nice, a very nice job. Um, Kia Backyard, mm -hmm. is it called? Kia Can Cook. Yes. I think it's Kia Can Cook. Um, she... It was nice. The lunches were nice. Um, but we also have to remember, too, I think my motto is um, everyone has an opportunity. Everyone has a voice. Everyone don't, you know, leave anyone out. So we have to also remember, too, that as other caterers in Michigan City area, LaPorte County area, that maybe we can rotate and also introduce them and bring them in, too, to maybe be able to cater sometimes as well. That's promoting, you know, small mm -hmm. businesses that yes. is you know, Michigan City, so that would be nice to show, you know, the mm -hmm. variety of, you know, the caterers or um, other businesses if we need some other things done. Always looking to, you know, not just have one person or one caterer, but open it up to, to all. So a little unfinished business we do have with uh, Kia Can Cook. Yes, is that uh, there were uh, fifty more lun lunches added to our initial order, mm. and so that came to uh, five hundred dollars. And I, um, Christina nor Bonnie, were sh was sure if we had voted on or had agreed or voted to um, reimburse um, the caterer with that. So uh, we should look to take a vote tonight to yes. approve yes. Um, that $500 so that we can wrap that up with the caterer. Yes. And move that we pay an additional $500 to Kia King Cook for the additional lunches for that event. And can we have a second? I second. Anyone opposed or have any questions? Okay. Vote? Yes. Oh. Everybody? Did everybody vote, or we're voting? We I have to vote. Yeah, I'll you have to call paper. the vote. You have yes. to call the vote. Yes, 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 I'm calling the vote. That I asked for um, a first, uh, well, I'm sorry. Lori made the motion. I seconded. And second. you seconded. And can we call for a vote? So, vote, do we? All in favor. All in favor. Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Anyone opposed? No. No? Okay. So the um, the vote is that we will pay the additional five hundred dollars to Nakia. Okay, I'll take care of getting that accomplished. Okay. And also, um, so you all would know, but I don't have that handout, so that would have to come at. Uh, we would have to bring that back up at the next visit. Is uh, reimbursements and the reimbursements. Um, I know Christina. Uh, re, uh, she submitted some receipts to be reimbursed, okay? And I don't have those numbers right here in front of me. Okay. But do you happen, did she? I don't believe so, but okay. I can reach out to her. Okay, I have. I think I have a copy. Okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, um, the only thing I was saying is um, the next meeting, I will make certain that I have those um, receipts copies of the receipts so Christina and whoever else needs to be reimbursed for um, their donate well the donation or whatever amount that they contributed to um, the March 8th um, International Women's Day be reimbursed okay so that'll be under the unfinished business on the next agenda I'm sorry um, Go ahead, do Jeff. you have the exact total of participants for the event um, well, according to the sign-up sheet, when everyone signed in, we only had 123. But however, according to the lunches, it was all of them were gone. So, and some didn't receive a lunch. So we really don't know actually how many. We know that 
it wasn't an available seat in there. And that was set up for 150. Okay. Well, it's good to know it's popular. Yes. <laughs> I think that was a free good lunch. idea too. Uh, free lunch, it brings people in. It, it, it does. <laughs> uh, food? Food? <laughs> no. <laughs> food entertainment? Yes. yes. Food and entertainment. But you know, I think um, it was um, a great idea for like recommending each one of us invite 10 people and that's what happened but then after that then I guess others just started when they heard about it word of mouth then they started RSVP and after we <laughs> went out inviting so yeah so but again well, it was announced at the city council meeting someone who came and hadn't registered told me that really yeah I was trying to say Mm, we don't know if we can let you in. <laughs> right. She found she she got in through Denise. She pulled rank. Oh. So, um, but the person said, "Yeah, I heard it at the city council meeting, and I, I they said the time. They didn't say you had to register. So, I don't know how it was announced at the city council meeting, but well, that was yeah, the yeah. it was an invitation that we um, we wanted to invite the city council." there so we did extend an invitation yes. and we appreciate them coming even the president of the city this was somebody was in the audience so okay yeah. so um, again it's always room for changes and um, again I, I I'm not gonna say anything was really negative we can always we always have room for improvement so we'll know what to do next year okay all right so um, again under the unfinished business for next meeting, we will um, provide the copies for the reimbursements. Surveys. Um, I only received 16 from 123 individuals that, well, according to the registration sheet, but again, we have, we know that every seat in there was taken, which was 150. I only received 16 surveys. So maybe that's another thing that can be looked at next year is how can we get these surveys back? You know, um, so, but with the surveys, the ones that I did review, um, a lot of them stated that they would like to see like the middle-aged youth involved include them um, the seniors the elders um, what's available for the seniors or the elders um, finance it was um, surveys regarding finance um, I know council councilwoman am I pronouncing it right mm -hmm. councilwoman Tracy Tillman she had um, stated that she works with the prosecutors uh, child division the uh, advocate for child division mm -hmm. and um, a lot don't know about that division which she would love to come in and you know talk about that um, so finance was one youth and um, the older, elder generation. I want to just say elder generation. Um, that, um, what else was one? I'm sorry. I think so I, I do have a question. What, were they specific around the finance part of it or? I think it was more like education, being educated um, or someone from Horizon Bank, okay. matter of fact, mm -hmm. yes, they wanted to be included you know, to provide um, education with finances. So that was one too. And then also I know it was some um, verbal responses and, um, but they're not here, like Miss Linda is not here to, you know, provide that information. But can any of you all share anything that you heard um, verbally regarding feedback? A couple people at my table do just told me that they were enjoying themselves and that they liked the food, that the food was very fresh. Um, they were just, I mean, they just enjoyed themselves. Okay. And they made mention of it. Okay. Nothing beyond that. Okay, nothing of something that they would want to see us work towards or no, did anyone no. receive any? Nyla? Mm -mm. Okay. Just overall, everyone 
enjoy themselves. Okay. They were so glad that was their first time ever coming. Okay. So they really was like so happy that they, you know, got a chance to be there. Um, overall, it was just very nice. Very nice. All good comments. I've heard a lot of just, you know, they enjoyed themselves, educational. Um, outside of being there, it was just uh, seeing them, the people who made the comments um, outside of the luncheon. So they, you know, made a point like they, they enjoyed themselves. It was a nice event. <clears throat> My daughter was there. <clears throat> with Daisy <Okay. laughs> and teenagers are hard to please sometimes yeah. mm -hmm. and she said she had she had a good time and she thought it was interesting yes, good. I was like oh <laughs> and I um awesome. <laughs> okay. I, did, I remember I did have one comment in particular where a lady told me I wish I'd had time to network mm. so that that made me wonder like should we be adding a piece to that? Should we open the doors and give 30 minutes of where people can just network before the speakers, before the eating, you know? But she she did mention that. Okay. And she was like, and man, I, I'm so glad to be here, but it's too tight for me to move around and yeah. like that. But she, she, she loved being here. It was tight for sure. But she did enjoy it and she told me, I, I wish I could network. I was, you know, she was looking at some people that she was like, I would love to get over there, <laughs> you know, so. Um, I was going to also say when we were, um, we brought the children in or the teenagers in. I was trying to put them all in one area together so they can feel, you know, supported. So we was trying to squeeze them in that little corner. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to go over to the other table because they had a table in between there. So we modified that by bringing other chairs over there. And I think they really appreciated that. So they can That's feel, nice. you know, be with each like other. Larger groups having maybe a designated. Yes. So that they yes. feel they are comfortable. Like you have the president or you have the vice president. It's like, I know we sit there. There's mm -hmm. our table. So I said, no, we're going to squeeze you in. So. We got them in, and I, they really like them. They're liked small. It. Yeah, they're small. But also, I think that networking time is valuable because not everyone likes speaking in front of or asking questions in front of that many people. So maybe having something on a smaller scale level where there's maybe some more comfort in. There might have been a lot of questions that didn't get asked because the, someone didn't want to speak out in front of everybody. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Um, also, I want to acknowledge uh, Minority Health Coalition, is it? Mm -hmm. um, Partners. Partner, yes, mm -hmm. um, because they partnered with um, this event. And actually, I believe they paid for half, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you um, for Minority Health Coalition and um, their contribu uh, contribution and every um, all that they contributed to for this event. So really appreciate that. And I didn't want it to go unnoticed. As far as the survey feedback, um, next year, if you all are interested, I'd be happy to create a QR code that people can scan at their table so that they can give the survey feedback on their phones, Ooh. even outside. I know me, I got the paper. And then we were leaving and it was chaotic and then I forgot to fill it out. So if there was a QR code, I could have scanned it and then, you know, I'd take it home with me and fill it out then so we might get more responses. I was actually having that in the back of my mind, having it digitally for some of us that prefer the digital. I'll take mm -hmm. a paper home and I can't tell you where it's at most of the time, but if it's on digital, I can find it and then I'll remember to just turn it in or submit it that way. Mm -hmm. You actually got that when we were at the coffee shop. Uh, Christina <coughs> gave it to you. It's on the top of the paper. I mentioned that because me and Lori was talking about um, getting a QR code and she says, um, how would we do that? You have to get all the information in there. So it was on the top of your paper um, when we were at the coffee shop when Christina was there. The For me to yes. implement it? For me to implement no, it? No, just to let you see that that would be a good oh. uh, additive okay. Um, to okay. projects. So, okay. Yeah, a lot of people, we, you know, with the like, phone, you can get all the information right yeah, there. Yeah. Especially the elderly, I was concerned about okay. them as well. Yes. So, yes. They don't take and then that's something to keep in mind, too, because um, some may not be able, you know, not, like technology. Yes, yeah, so they may not want to do it. Right. So yeah, we have to find a way. Those who do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So maybe we can come up with a couple of options yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Nice you know, um, that everybody would be comfortable with. But thank you for You're that. Because I was thinking, I was like, QR. Um, 
code. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for that. Um, so speaking of QR code, um, under the subcommittee rules, that's what it's, that's where we're at now. Um, and I know we're jumping down, well, I'm jumping down to C since we're talking about QR codes or whatnot. Would anybody be interested because we're going to have to uh, implement some. So I, I do um, work on the Facebook page. I do have access to that. Mm -hmm. um, I can put as much on or as little on as is asked of me. <laughs> so if somebody else wants to help out with that, that's fine, but um, I don't mind helping out in that way. With the Sarah. Facebook page, if you want something else, I can. So can we point uh, point you mm -hmm. as the social media point the person? You? Okay. And um, can we have a backup? A backup person? Because you never know. I always like to have a backup or emergency <laughs> person. <laughs> would you like to work along with uh, the QR? I would develop love to, but I'm going to be honest. Okay. I will probably not. Okay. She should be able to put the liaison on there. Right. I don't think she's, yeah. No, no, no. I was saying um, helping out like with the QR code oh. or something because you had me. Sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That'd be nice. That's what I was at because I oh, know yeah. that you're schedule is busy so I understand yes so okay. I can, work. I can uh, be back up for Sarah and a lot of the times just thank you I won't post something unless you say hey put this on Facebook just I don't know how much you want on and how much yeah, if there's anything that you feel should be on that send it I can put it on there okay thank you so much thank you Shelley um, I'm also going to jump down to legislative reports. I'm not certain if anyone on um, the commission's board here is interested or has expertise or just like to research because I think that that's going to be important too to make certain that we have those numbers and see what the concern is and you know just stay up on information. So would anyone like to take that role? Locally or state or nationally? In, in general. I was told in general. Um, I'm an avid news junkie. Mm -hmm. So I can take point on that. Thank you. Thank you, Charlene. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? I'm not a good person. <laughs> okay, so Charlene would be the point person for the legislative reports, local and nationwide? Yeah. Okay. And I, I well, I'll just give you an example. I was reading earlier this week a report that the number of women entrepreneurs has exploded following the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And that includes women running their own businesses in what were predominantly men's roles mm -hmm. or men's um, businesses before. So I, I was thinking you know, something along that lines. That's good information to have. Right. Um, there's going to be a huge amount of wealth transfer to women uh, over the next decade, and so I look at those things. I think those are things that might be of interest for us as a women's commission and then of course there's the legislative things that are happening that um, impact us as well yeah very good yes, yes. thank you perfect <clears throat> okay we already had talk we're gonna go back to a now since we have those two those were two important roles that we needed to fill um, August the 26th, that's another um, event that we will be hosting Women's Equality Day. And um, it, what was, ho well, it wasn't actually hosted last year, but what took place was uh, we submitted or a resolution was submitted and the council approved it. And that was read at the council meeting on, when was that, Tuesday? It was read. So it was a resolution that occurred instead of an actual program, but this year it will be an actual program. And my understanding is like a, is it a gala or something that takes place? It's an event to be determined. We're doing it with the League of Women Voters. And I am the League of Women Voters rep on the commission, so. Okay, um, 
Yes, Lori is one of the representatives, and also Kiana Edwards is. Um, Kiana stated nope. that, yeah, Kiana um, Edwards has stated that she's also works with the League of Women Voters, and she's also agreed to work on this event. Um, so right now we have Lori and Kiana and Nyla. Nyla's interested in working on it as well. Um, Sarah, um, anybody else before I move to Sarah to ask Sarah, would you work on that? Because, uh, or would you like to, or you just want to remain as just separate, making certain that the media goes out and different things like that, but it doesn't it's, necessarily yeah, mean. It's a tough one just because of the date. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I am more than happy to help with things like the programs paper okay. type things. Just okay. that's the start of school. So that's okay. always oh, a, yeah. <laughs> a hard one for me. Okay. And the only reason that I was asking you is based on the social media, but if you can still if, if you would Yeah, be I can still help out with um, the media. But like subcommitting meetings because okay. if they're scheduled during the day they're really hard for me to attend. I'm a writer and public relations person. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to do the public relations media release. I mean that's what I do. Okay. So are we, are we uh, looking to sell tickets or admission to help cover costs for this? I well, think we need to we need to work on the subcommittee. Okay. I don't right. think we're ready to. We're just gathering yeah. our peeps. So okay, so and we're going to work with the League of Women Voters. Right, and I plan on making contact with um, a couple. I'll give you their names. Actually, I wrote it. Let me, let me see. One is um, Linda Linda Lancaster. Yeah, I think the subcommittees bring to the commission the ideas for it. Yes, that's why we have subcommittees. Yeah, right. Um, so I'm sorry. What I was saying is I'm gonna reach out um, to Linda Lancaster and also Joanne Inquist. They're also on the Legal Women's Voters mm -hmm. and um, talk with them as well. But yes, the subcommittee um, they have to. They're going to be planning, doing majority of the planning or whatnot. So, so I will. Why don't I volunteer for that as well, since I'm treasurer? Great. Okay. And awesome. Good. Okay. So so far we have Kiana. We have Nyla. Yes. <laughs> uh, the date is on a Monday. I was just curious. Is it a Monday? It's a Monday. Is so it? I was wondering, is that we could alter that to change? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The twenty sixth is just the actual. It's the official. It's just the official yeah, it's the official. Okay. Yeah. I was just wondering if we were there planning. So. Yeah, we can pick a better day. Tweet this. Yeah. Monday's probably not a good one. So Nyla, Kiana, um, Charlene, yep, mm -hmm. and Lori. Okay. And they as a subcommittee, like. Or some programs or whatnot that they can throw them. Yes, those if you could still because you're the role. You know what you do. We're um, <laughs> you're the role for social media point person. Mm -hmm. So yes, if they can still <clears throat> provide you with the information and rather you put it on Facebook or however you do. I okay. Do Thank you. All right. So we have that one. Okay, and then also, um, I'm going to ask you, Charlene, and I don't want to put everything on you, but as the treasurer, do you mind sitting on some other subcommittees? No. Nope. As well? Okay, because I think that that would be a good idea to have the treasurer on there. But um, for the luncheon next year, uh, Linda, for the um, international luncheon, for that subcommittee, Linda is still going to be sitting on that one. So she already has stated that, and I believe Angela, right, Angela? Yes. And Keila, would you like to sit on that one as sure. well? Okay, so we have Keila, Angela, and Linda, and Keisha. Charlene. Keisha. I mean, Keisha. I am so sorry. Okay. Keisha. Sorry, Keisha. I'll get it right. Angela, Keisha, Linda, and Charlene. I, I can for the lunch. Okay. 
So we have Angela, Keisha, Linda, Charlene, and Nyla for the luncheon subcommittee international for next year. 2025. 2025. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the new program ideas, we're still kind of creating them, generating them a little bit. I do want to, um, if we would consider looking into, um, I know health, I don't know if I mentioned that on the surveys, it did state, some has stated a more health education. And also I think I read one with uh, resources, some type of community resources. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my things too. I think that uh, the community should be educated on what uh, resources are available for them, you know, out in the community, regardless if it's youth, um, uh, the younger generation or the mid-age or the seniors, everyone should know what's available for them. And sometimes, you know, when mm -hmm. individuals um, come in a bind, you know, um, not able to pay rent or, or, you know, utilities or even medical things that places that they can go to receive medical assistance, things of that nature. Um, how we would implement those programs yet, I don't know, but some programs just need to be um, kind of created and that's where we come in with some creative ideas, okay? Especially um, geared towards the youth as well because we see that interest, okay? We talked about in the past compiling resources from the community into one. <clears throat> Pamphlet. Sheet, pamphlet, whatever okay. have you. Oh, okay. Um, never got kind of going or finished per se. Um, I can see what, because I know I started something, a document. Kind of um, like the 411? Pretty much, uh, just yeah. because the, some resources, like one, <clears throat> um, one place might have these resources listed and another place would have these resources listed, but they're not the same resources. And you'd need like five or six different papers to see what you might be able to utilize and just kind of combining from what we could find in the community to see if are the actual resources that are still valid. Because mm -hmm. some places like I looked into were no longer accessible. Um, so I'm not sure where that went, but okay. it's, be like it's been brought up in the past. Right. So yeah. That'd be nice. That would be nice. And then also I forgot too, I'm sorry ladies. Um, another concern that was mentioned was insurance. I guess a lot of things are taking place, a lot of complaints about insurance. Um, new I don't want to say insurance providers, maybe it is, but it's a change and a lot of the elders or seniors are very confused of what insurance to accept, um, what they're being declined of. I know with um, some waivers, I believe they call them, um, for home-based services and things of that nature, um, the government, I guess, is um, um, they had, what can I say, they kind of got away or they're getting away from some of the um, programs like it was structured family care I think that was a big thing now that um, they're not willing to pay mothers to provide care for the child mm -hmm. in the home and um, things like that uh, regarding health so I don't know if you heard of anything like that Keisha anything coming I've heard your of way some cuts in Medi Medicare I think it is okay so there because there have been so, so many changes since COVID it was like they were readjusting everything, um, I say, as to not help so many people. Mm -hmm. So they've kind of readjusted things and have tightened down on some people. So some people yes. are actually not having it, the same uh, capacity. They don't have the same amount of benefits anymore. Right. And I know another concern, too, was the transportation, getting them to the medical, um, different medical appointments mm -hmm. or whatnot. Um, it's hard to find that transportation. I think that they were cutting back on that too. It used to be under home community assistance or something, home based, some type, you know, the home based services. Yeah. Yes, and um, they're cutting back with that that only one service or one provider can provide hmm. that transportation if they were under a waiver. But um, hmm. I mean, it's needed. Medical transportation is needed and it's a lot they can't afford to pay out of pocket 
to be right. transported to medical appointments. So that's something too that we can think about, you know, but I definitely agree with you regarding the community resources. I did find we can, what we started so I can share that. Okay. It's, it's very incomplete, but it's a start. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're working on that too. Okay, so Angie said that I'll that's a, you know, something that we can do. I have the start, so I'll okay. share it with. Yeah, I mean, things change so much, um, you know, trying to keep up with, like you said, the health thing. I mean, I have to because that's part of my job. Um, and I've been in this field for a long time, so I'm up to date on, you know, those issues, you know, with Medicaid, Medicare. Um, people actually getting on HIP 2.0, things like that. Um, but every Medicaid um, provider provides the transportation. A lot of people just don't understand yes. um, and read in the insurance documents. People lose their insurance because they don't understand the paperwork yes. and having to fax in certain things mm -hmm. like that. So. Mm -hmm. I, it is a, a huge That's piece just about educating on health overall um, and health insurance. That's that could just be one seminar we could do, yeah. you know. And then so you know, then other health issues that are affecting, um, you know, folks here in Michigan City or Laporte County as a whole. And we can always touch on those higher um, percentage um, chronic illnesses mm -hmm. because there's there's. Several. Yes, it's serious. Yeah. And our youth, okay, since y'all, mm -hmm. the youth people here, um, just to give you a heads up, diabetes with the youth, it is mm -hmm. is at an uptick right now. Kids should not be getting diabetes, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, these are some things or program ideas or community resource type ideas or seminars and things that we could definitely hit on. Yes. So we can always talk about, you know, what is um, the most important thing. Maybe have a list of some stuff and then we can always say, okay, yeah, we want to tackle this or, you know. But I'm all for the health stuff, so okay. whatever you want me to do in that just area. insurance in general, like insurance. even private, like private insurance. Yes, the market. It's hard to understand what's. It is what. hard, <laughs> and I was a navigator for about seven years, mm. so I understand that it. But and it was hard for me. Yeah, but I was trained on it and doing it for so long. So just imagine when you don't have that background in it and you're getting this paper and you're like, what is this? I don't understand it. So they don't send it in and they lose their coverage. The navigators are appointed at the time of the Obamacare, right? Yes. Yeah. So I, I was doing it all those years. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's um, it's a new world. For it you. is. Yeah, sure. It's like educating yes. you know, folks on there. No one should be without you yeah. know, in, insurance. But yeah, they're not going to have doctor. that private insurance, even those, like, like mm -hmm. me personally, I don't understand half of my insurance paperwork, and so I but, don't necessarily utilize what I could. So but you could. That's it right. could be even just anyone, like, that just doesn't understand, and they're yes. afraid to go in because they don't know what it's going to cost, or... Right. Even though it could be covered, and they have no idea. So... Yeah. I think that that's we need to do boring. that. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, we need so to do that. That would be under. So actually, we're in B now. The new program ideas. So one of the new program ideas that we can look into is health. You know, maybe having some seminars or mm -hmm. even if it's luncheons or whatnot to bring mm -hmm. individuals out um, to discuss or educate them on the youth concerns for health and also um, the elder or educate even when it comes to insurance. Um, maybe another, although we're um, generating a manual, I'm going to say, for community resources. Um, so if we're going to take on that project, maybe we can um, kind of form a a uh, program or something like that around that as well to introduce individuals or have a speaker come in and even talk about what's available here in Laporte County. Um, I don't know about Keisha, it. That's just my personal 
a man opinion, opinion for because things change I agree with you. so so much yeah. I and mean, you Every invest year. that money to do it, with this it's, booklet it's obsolete as soon as you put it together you know and then that that company or that is just is off the table and then mm -hmm. you're trying to keep it up to yeah. date and keep adding to it what we need to do is um get with united way or the 211 and make sure that is updated to one one to yes. to have everything um you know to see if that's updated but that is probably your best mm -hmm. thing to go to for right now is to okay. go to 211 um and get the most updated information, but to do a, a booklet or something yeah. with community resources, it's it's, money it's difficult. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's difficult. And now I am familiar with the two one one. So, um, but okay, we'll look into that. Yeah. We can always table that and come back to that. You know, okay. um, Keisha, regarding Minority Health Coalition or whatnot, what are some of the Things that minority that health cover. cover. Yes. Um, diabetes, like she said, that's one of the things that we do. That we educate um, different places in the community about diabetes, heart disease, obesity, um, cancer, uh, infant mortality, and mm -hmm. even mental health. Those are the things that those. Are, that's our thrust. So that, that's what we do. We go out and educate, okay. um, especially our community, mm -hmm. about those issues. And like she even mentioned, Nyla even mentioned about youth having diabetes. That's it's, just off the charts. So, it it's so that's something that when we have certain programs, you know, we talk to kids about, especially kids, because it's good to get people while they're young, talk to them about you can't have all Twinkies all the time, all Pepsi all the time, all, you know, and it's that and it's that very thing that sends your blood sugar up and all that kind of stuff early in life. And so if you if your foundation is the vending machine, mm -hmm. chances are before you're 20, it's, it's very likely that you'll be a diabetic. So I wasn't surprised when you said that. It's like it's, it's terrible. But those are some of the things um, that we do similar to what Nyla does in, in a lot of ways, but it's just, I hate to hear that, even though we do this work, it's like, it can be discouraging, mm -hmm. but you know, but you have to, but you do have to get out there and, you know, give them the Last facts. Last year's March 8th event did do quite a bit of comprehensive stuff about health in the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't remember the particulars, because I wasn't on the planning committee then or the commission, but it was there were a lot of speakers and it was the focus it was the year. focus last year of the yeah. commission mm -hmm. yeah, so um, and we honing in on on those key areas and talking to them at their level mm -hmm. whether it's kids and mm -hmm. so they can understand you know not just sitting up here and where we're, we're speaking and they don't have a chance to really engage and really understand it i think that hands-on approach would be the best way to try to do some of these things, even with the insurance piece, um, not just to talk about the insurance and have a Q&A of it, but actually have those MCEs, which is the managed care entity, so it's Anthem, Care Source, et cetera, et cetera, have them actually there, and maybe even like CKF there, to actually help people apply to on walk the spot. Them it, yeah. mm -hmm. To walk them through it, tell them to bring their paperwork in, so mm -hmm. we're actually making a difference and not yes. just talking. Yes. But they're leaving there with, they got yeah. coverage now. Right. Yes. They understand what, yes. what right. their insurance That's is good. or what this paperwork is. I want to do more of that type of stuff. Okay. So that's good. Thank you for all of that feedback. Yes. Now, I'm Angie, I'm coming to you now. Okay. And the only reason, um, I know Angela shared with me earlier about um, some of the feedback from even our senior, the seniors mm -hmm. community, I'm going to say, um, the concerns or what they would like to see or how they want to be included. You want to share, Angie? Um, yes, I've talked to a few of them, and they do feel like they're being pushed back. Um, I don't know if it's because um, they're living at home by themselves. I don't know, but they're seeing that we need, we have the resources where um, they can add to the um, 
to the Mich to Michigan City and Laporte area, um, if you put the elderly and the young ones together, some kind of way of bringing that gap, mm -hmm. they can teach them more things than they can ever just get in a piece here and there or other. So their concern is they're not being looked up on as being part of the community. You know, it's not just uh, not getting the resources. Because um, I usually, when I go around, I'm usually talking to a lot of the women who or and their husbands that may lost their husbands and they don't know what to do next. How do I get, you know, the checks or how do I get things going? So um, they would like to participate, maybe get in a, <laughs> start a new, um, I don't know, just get a meeting with them to get their feedback to see maybe I can go and talk or kind of knock around and see exactly. So I talked about 20 in the last maybe hmm, three months and they would like to participate in whatever to keep them busy too. See, they're so out of the loop. Like you said, we were talking about the Medicaid. I had an aunt and she lost everything and uh, she couldn't get her basic medicine. So she didn't know if I'm going to eat this week or am I going to get my medicine. She went to CVS and I told her, listen, we'll go to Walmart. It has $4 for 30 days or 90 days, depends on what it is. And it's 90 day, 90 pills for. So I'm trying to help her to see but if you don't have a way of getting there or so I pick them up, I'll take them. I've been, been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. And so they would like to, um, if we can get them together, get some names, things like that. Um, I was even thinking about getting a bus or something to pick them up and just take them and bring them and let them tell you their concerns. So yeah, if they can get a, maybe we can bring, uh, as you was talking to me earlier. Some type of luncheon or something. That would be really them. nice. Okay. A program, something, a seminar. Yeah, so they can they can participate mm -hmm. and um, that's great. Yes, and add to a and add to us too. Something. I don't know, we'll figure something out. When sure. you say no one left behind, Jackie. No one left behind. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Well, I was just gonna say. So we've got a lot of ideas on the table, and we're. Um, all age groups cover, yes, so to speak. And I, I just got to thinking about. Um, I've heard youth mention a lot, mm -hmm. and of course our um, older citizens. Yes. Yeah. Something triggered for me with um, Angie, the mayor's upcoming charitable ball, with an emphasis toward youth, mm -hmm. and and um, and I'm I'm wondering. You said you're going to be meeting <coughs> with the mayor. Yeah. Is there, um, as we look at uh, what the mayor's objectives and focus is over the next year or two, is there an opportunity that we have as a commission to help support and play a role in um, maybe some of those efforts? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. I, I just think about when you talk about the resources, it almost seems like um, that was, did I hear something in the various conversations with the mayor that's providing those resources? She's really about uniting the community, providing ease and access to all residents. Mm -hmm. So is there an opportunity to align some of our programming with what she's focused on? Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing is seeing what some yeah. of her objectives were and then, you know, sharing. Yeah. with um, the mayor also where we were what we're what our concerns are what we were talking about discussing yeah. what our vision is for the commission as well. yeah I think yes. she wants to really incorporate the vibrant yes. um, you know mission yes. city yeah. yes and the really plan. getting out into the community yes. bringing more of those programs not just it's you know it's like, you know Franciscan hospital not taking everything out of the hospital yeah but take those programs and things like that into the community so we're on the west side and we're in Eastport or we you know so that is um, part of her um, her goal is to incorporate that more so we can definitely jump on that okay we could invite you. the mayor to the big commission meeting Okay. Because she could address all of us. I think that'd be a good idea. Okay. So I'll share all of these concerns when I meet with her. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I'll, um, thank you all for that. Okay. So um, with the new, I, uh, I'm sorry, with the new program ideas, we'll um, 
place that under unfinished business as well. And we can come back to that um, after we start creating, seeing how we're going to kind of form some of these uh, ideas into some programs or whatnot. Um, I'm looking into doing maybe some fundraisers and um, maybe some grant research and sponsors. So that would kind of be my area. Um, anyone else can join in with me if they want. Um, trainings and retreats. Um, that would be nice. Again, we talked earlier about some trainings, but my understanding the previous commission, um, and then Lori also may mention to today that it was actually she confirmed that it was a um, a retreat or some mm -hmm. type of retreat. So maybe we can look into that later towards what was it fall or something? There was, was September. September. Yeah, September. And so we met, and then that's how we come up like with the focus of what we want to mm -hmm. do the work next towards year. for this. It was this year but oh okay so okay and that's typical every year right that there is a retreat yeah fall. and so we plan out you know what are our goals what mm -hmm. kind of like what you were doing here with the new program ideas okay. and we really get one concentration so that's how we came up the year prior to that in our retreat we wanted to focus on that health okay. aspect so during okay. that time we kind of brainstormed ideas got some things set so that we knew kind of where that you know what those panels would look like or what those events okay. would encompass thank you for the clarity thank you thank you thank you because i wasn't aware of that i wasn't i wasn't aware of that but thank you for the clarity so um maybe we can look in the fall to have a retreat uh, rather it's september october i don't know we can all kind of think about a date to do that and um, if you all have somewhere in mind. Um, and that usually took the place of that month's meeting mm -hmm. as well. So. Okay. All right. Thank you mm -hmm. for sharing that information. And that's much needed. So maybe in the, um, if you all think of some venues or somewhere like that, that maybe we can go and meet or have a small little retreat. Was it small or? Well, we can talk about it another time. Something, but no, just brought some food. It's all the board meeting, for the, morning. the board members. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's all the board members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. So I want to be mindful of everyone's um, schedule and their time. So we can stop here. Um, well, actually, yeah, we can include in this part and we're going to place some of this under unfinished biz business, which would be the new program ideas. And we can move forth with the city council liaison comments. Daisy, do you have any? I don't have any comments other than I'm really excited to be here with you all. Um, you all do wonderful work and I'm excited to be a part of that. And let me know however way I can help with whatever you need. Thank you so much. And thank you for attending. Um, we don't have anyone here from the public. And we all, uh, so all of you all would know that the public is welcome to attend our meeting. So, um, or if you all want to encourage someone to attend, and I believe we can have speakers at our meetings. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, our next meeting will be April the 18th, 2024, at the same time. And I just ended the agenda with a quote, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And that's um, written by Helen Keller. Mm -hmm. Right. Anything else, anyone? Is it um, skipped over commissioner comments? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> commissioner, I have a comment. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. I actually uh, had um, from council person Nancy Molenhauer just wanted to acknowledge the Women's Commission's a presentation last night. Yeah. Of uh, the uh, I. I think Christina and I. Yeah. Uh, she mentioned that it was probably one of the best presentations from a commission that she's seen. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. That was Christina. Uh, Christina and, and Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Um, just wanted to uh, good. make that, make you guys aware of that. Thank you. And then I guess the other thing I was thinking about is, Daisy, something you said about how much your kids loved uh, the event mm -hmm. and I know the sustainability commission has youth commissioners yes mm -hmm. you have like four youth commissioners six we had to up it it okay. was four and then we had 
a lot of interest, so we changed the ordinance to six. Okay. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that's something we think about too as a women's commission to to maybe discuss future of uh, looking to add some young youth to our commission. Mm. Okay. That's a good idea. And that's my com I conclude my comments. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I had. I'm sorry. I have one more question. <laughs> uh, in in the uh, treasurer information that Bonnie provided me, she had a really nice summary of the 2023 finances, showing showing where all the dollars and things went. And I wasn't sure if that's something she had shared with the commission, um, like in December or in January. And if I don't not, that, no. If that's something you guys would be interested in seeing, because it shows all the reimbursements and all of the yes. grants that were given in 2023. In 2023. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, uh, next meeting, I will bring copies of that for everyone. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. May I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you all for coming out. Oh, I thought your hand was raised. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Thank you all for coming out, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your hands are